Hello and welcome to uh, Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker. My name is Melina and I'm going to uh, have a pick a card reading with you today. Um, it's a pick a card reading for uh, what does your man feel about you? What are, what are his feelings? So you're, if you're curious, you don't know, <laughs> um, looking for some answers, I'm inviting you to uh, choose either deck one or deck number two. I'll show the show the show you the crystals I've chosen for this two stacks of cards. It's beautiful this one. And for this, these two wanted to join the party. But I'm gonna let you choose. Give you a few minutes. I'll be quiet. Take a deep breath and hold your hand on your heart. Ask your angels to speak to you from your heart. So I'm going to take stack number two and just put it up here just to have it wait for a little while. And I'm going to keep this crystal within reach so you can see <laughs> which, um, which of these uh, uh, packs we are, we're, we're doing. So if you shuffle, you can know your way back and forth. Anyway, we have, firstly, we have uh, the Guardian Angels Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. I love Radley. He's just so good and nice and clever and, uh, and cool. And I love these cards. So let's see the first three cards. Here we have six, no, card number six, Open Your Heart and uh, five of thought and then we have ace of abundance i'm gonna leave the rest <laughs> here so we can focus on those three to start with i'm gonna bring them up to the camera so you can see what we're talking about it's getting a little dark but i turned on all the light i could <laughs> Hopefully you, you will be able to see what what is what is on the picture. Um, card number six in traditional tarot is uh, the lover's card. And of course it's the same in this uh, card deck. Um, you can see there is a, a queen and a king <laughs> holding hands. And uh, the card says, open your heart. So it has to do with allowing uh, love to grow and bloom. So this guy we're talking about, your guy, um, he loves you. He really loves you. And since the six is a major arcana card, this love is not uh, something that's going to pass this love is gonna stay so you're really lucky for getting this card uh, as the first card of the entire deck um, he's feeling emotionally fulfilled by you and um, he feels like now the time has come uh, and he's listening to his heart and uh, this is uh, making him think about the choices that he's about to make right now um, and you must feel this as well because I don't think we have a, a relationship <laughs> like this that only contains the man but there has to be another part there has to be two of you so lucky you <laughs> Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. So that means um, 
so many things are on its way for you and uh, you, you will feel um, deep love. So let's see what the, what the other cards say, because we're not always, uh, you know, safe <laughs> in that kind of love. So many things can happen and we have to, you know, uh, stay, stand ground that this is our truth together. Good. Next card is a five of thought. And this card is in a traditional tarot. We have a... Uh, um, five of Swords, and um, it can be a, <laughs> traditionally it's fire for defeat or loss or painful situations or experiences. So, um, and it can be seen with a beginning of something new, um, um, or you know you you might be doubting the way that you have <laughs> been started up on um, <clears throat> there might be some people around you that can be a little negative or maybe you inside you are saying to yourself well you know um, I'm not I'm not sure this this is uh, this is right or this is true so the path you were on seemed like the right one but now you've run into a challenge so um i'm not sure if the challenge is the woman is you or if there is another type of challenge there could be um another type of challenge you have to, you know, pass through. So he is a little challenged and is a little fearful uh, of his emotions towards you. But the last of the three cards is <laughs> a happy one. So thank God, right? It's Ace of Abundance. And um, wow, this is a powerful card. Um You have all the resources and money you need. You have advice and assistant, assist, assistance in getting things done. So it's a good time to start a new venture. So, and it can also be a career change um, if you have a business or something like that. Uh, there could be there could be a contract that uh, he's about to sign, you know, or it could be a marriage con contract. <laughs> I'm not sure, but you know, he's being uh, supported he right here, and he's uh, I think he's um, hmm, making sure that everything in his life is okay because he's tying up this bouquet of flowers for you, and. But he really wants it to look good and he really wants all the strings <laughs> to come uh, around the flowers. I think he wants money to be uh, okay. He, he wants his business or his job to be okay. Um, because uh, he knows that a love like this one, it takes commitment all the way and he has to be ready within himself. I think a lot of men feel that way when they meet the love of their life that, you know, I need to be accomplished. I need to um, know who I am and I need to uh, have everything done. But, you know, it's not always <laughs> like that. But, uh, and I think it's a guy thing. It's a guy thing. So be patient with him if he's uh, he has a lot of thoughts about his home or his job or stuff like that. Uh, because, um, you know, the challenge will, you know, be, be set aside. And he will discover that he has the, the right resources. So, um, or he will come into having all the resources he needs. Um, 
let's look at the next three cards and they are from uh, I just want to make sure I say the right way Wisdom of the Oracle of Colleen Baron Reed. These cards are so beautiful. So let's see. The Fates. Yeah, all right. And Never Ending Story. And Mending. Okay. So, yeah. The fate is the, the card number 17. Can you see anything? I'm sorry, the light is so bad at this time of day. 17, it says. And this girl, she has her uh, silver thread. I think it actually is a golden thread. But she has a thread that goes straight up to the sky, up to the divine. In traditional tarot, this card is called the star. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I just need to make sure <laughs> it's late afternoon and sometimes. Yeah, sure. Of course, it is the star. Um, I'm gonna read it from this book of Colette Baron Reed because she has a little different. Um, way of looking at the star to me the star is uh, uh, inspiration crystal crystallization and uh, communication with uh, the universe and uh, just being able to draw the universe and all the secrets of your soul down to your heart and become whatever you know you are and then obtain all the answers that uh, you want and um, but she calls it fate and karma and to acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing that those what those things are so there might be things within this uh uh, relationship that in, involves karma and invo involves um, some type of, uh, I think, very strong fate. And, um, and <laughs> when we run into fate or karma, you know, there's nothing we, we can really do. Um, we can't decide to go left or to go right we can only decide to sit back and wait for the for the result um so uh colleen um she says um make the prayer of serenity and you might know this god grant me the serenity to accept things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can and the wisdom to know the different. There are things in your life that you have no control over. So, um, and I think those things evolve something collective, something large. <laughs> and, um, and this guy, he is affected by that. He is affected by the fact that there is a, already a, some sort of written truth about this relationship. And there is a process he has to go through. He has to heal himself through his thoughts, through getting closer to his, his soul and... Um, and I think he's going to have to go through uh, fear or shadows or anxiety. Um, but uh, because the next card is called Never Ending Story. And here we have uh, this um, woman that is <laughs> sitting on the, uh, 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 do you call it a time? 
time, uh, you, you turn the time, you know, and the sand comes down. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, never ending story. She's above it and she's holding her forehead and like, oh, I can't, I can't deal with all these thoughts and I can't wait. And it's always, I have to wait. I have to wait for this and that to make sure that, and is that okay? Is that not okay? Or is that what I'm feeling? Is that what he's or she's feeling? So your guy, he's really, <laughs> he's been having or ha is, is having um, a lot of thoughts, uh, a lot of things on his mind. I think there are so many things that uh, has to, um, uh, for some reason, has to fit into, um, yeah, the puzzle for him. But right underneath uh, where she's sitting, there is a little heart. And you can obviously not read it. So I'm going to take it and read it myself. It says, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> of course, that, that's what this little fairy is thinking. But in the middle of the heart, it says, love me, love me, love me. So he's hoping that you love him, right? Or he's trying to love himself. <clears throat> Good. The third card down here is called Mending. And here we have two little girls weaving uh, a little um, string of flags. Little, I think you use it for celebrations. And uh, this is the last card of this card deck, 52. Um, the two stands for, you know, duality, two people, two, and, uh, and five is uh, change. And together it's seven, and uh, to me seven um, is the number of God. And those girls are also, they're looking up in the sky. I don't think you can see anything. Oh, God damn it. I'm, okay, I'm going to put it right up here. They're looking to the sky. The sky is blue and stands for emotions and, you know, calm and spirituality. And uh, the clouds are light, light, light pink. That to me is uh, love. <laughs> but I think something has happened in the past that makes them um, regret some things. Um, maybe the life they led before they met you um, is what they're re regretting. Um, maybe what happened before all these um, problems came into their life. Uh, um, no, before they met you, I think they're leading a life and they need to um, let it go. They need healing from that. So... Um, this guy is looking to meddle with you about the past. And he's also looking to find some sort of resolution within himself and to um, sit back and receive the healing that comes with the meddling. But right now, right on top of the meddling, it looks good. These girls are looking to the Ace of Abundance. abundance. So um, this cherub brings wonderful news. So um, we're going the right way. We're going the right way. And uh, I'm going to have to um, just move them a little bit up so we can make room for the last three cards here. 
and those are um i wanted to you know t i know how how he takes action uh towards all of these feelings he's having here so i chose to use uh archangel power tarot cards by dorian virtue and radley valentine time um so i'm gonna yeah the first card is uh leap of faith the second is seven of gabriel oh, it doesn't matter can you just listen today to what i'm saying and then we have the page of gabriel okay these are good powerful um cards uh this leap of faith <laughs> This guy, um, he has the energy of a, of a baby, I think. The energy is uh, whatever happens, I don't care. I just, I'm going to pack my bag. I'm going to bring uh, my lunch and my, my drink. I'm going to bring my dog. And we're just going to take the first step into the unknown. So, um <laughs> Believe in yourself and what gives you joy. So he's ready to take an, uh, a new path. The seven of, the, of Gabriel is ready to fight for this and stand up for what he believes in. And he's ready to have confidence and claim his personal power. The sky is really fighting him. He's some sort of a, he's, he put on his uh, battle uh, suit and um, he doesn't matter. He will go uh, all the way to get what he wants. There is a lot of uh, Mars and Leo energy within this card. And... Um, he might be a Leo, your friend. But don't, uh, don't get stuck on that. Um, he's, he's really, really going to fight for you or fight for himself and fight for this truth he has. Um, that he has heard by talking to the stars and talking to God or his angels or his soul. Um, and the last is a, a really a card of action. So he is going to, you know, I think he's going to, um, going to come after you. This guy is, um, very energetic and brave and optimistic and he's a he's really young and good-hearted um playful and um he's gonna follow his passion so are you ready <laughs> he has his stick uh with light and uh He's going to get out of this desert. He's going to get out of here. And he has uh, an angel to guide him all the way. So I am sure he believes that he has seen the light and he knows where to go. Coming after you. <clears throat> Let's make sure that's what he wants. I'm going to just take um, for to make completely sure. The Romance Angels uh, card by Doreen Virtue. And I'm going to shuffle them. Just a minute.
it wasn't upside down i swear <laughs> i just picked it up wrong uh true love it says true love this is romance of a lifetime of course it is because we already had this confirmation with mm, open your heart in number six and this queen and king standing there getting married or just holding hands and over here we also have a, a couple that's just embracing each other this is the romance of a lifetime so this is what your boo is feeling about you <laughs> lucky you i'll just put it here i <clears throat> i think i wanna i wanna give you a card that is for you and and just um some sort of um so you can have some reassurance how what to do or how to go about this um because there is uh all the all the troubles of the new beginning in this relationship there are many thoughts coming up and i think if he has all these thoughts and uh he's really doubting or waiting or uh, asking for mending or, then you might have this as well so i'm gonna go with this cards uh, soulful woman and just drag a simple card for you uh, to give you a little advice i don't know if you can see that i'm drawing up my my drawer and down here i have an extra space to shuffle my cards so i'm going to ask a soulful woman to give me a card for you just for you hmm. there we go self-belief of course you know, you have, <laughs> you have all the power of the universe. You have the spiral and you have um, protection around your solar plexus. And um, you have a road leading into a volcano that's just erupting. <laughs> so and you're holding a crystal to help you and you're wearing beautiful uh, jewelries and wearing roses in your hair so belief in yourself self-belief is the magic key that opens up a better more inspired future for me say that to yourself self-belief is the magic key that opens up a better, more inspired future for me. Let me just read what she says. Uh, you know, this card, sorry, I put it there. This card is also a number six card. Um, I'll do all the things I've dreamed of doing. <laughs> Even if I don't know how to do them just yet. I am on my own side. Backing myself. Following my own star. I will do it my own way and in my own time. Comparing myself to no one. Enjoying the adventure. I will see how far I can go. Surprising myself. As I move beyond old self-imposed limits. As I take this journey of discovery, I know I'll figure it out as I go step by step. I give myself permission to ask for help or to go back to the drawing board because that is part of the process of finding my way to a new place. 
Today I am stretching into the unknown, into new territory and daring to be bigger, bolder and freer than I was only yesterday. Self-belief is the magic key that opens up better, more inspired future for me. Of course it is. <laughs> you be that girl. You be that girl. And you don't have to wait for him. You don't have to be thinking about everything like him. Go to your solar plexus and bend your head and know you are safe. Because the universe is twirling around and helping you. You don't have, you don't have to be twirling around in your, in your solar plexus or in your heart. Let the universe do their magic and stay calm. Yeah, that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to have to just take all of these cards away for now because we're going to have to go to the next deck of cards for those who chose card number two cards no deck number two all right and here we have it yeah okay the sun is coming in Maybe and then maybe uh, the number twos will be able to see the cards better now. I can put them up here. <laughs> I should have done this reading earlier, but uh, I I wasn't able to uh, a little earlier during the day. And the light is good here, so. But then the kids came home, and you know how it goes. Anyway, we'll be starting with the first three cards of card deck number two. Here we have the guardian of action. And right beside him we have the helper of action. Okay, this is full of action. And the messenger of action. All right, this is a powerful uh, reading. There is really power already. <laughs> okay. The guardian of action is uh, the king of wands in the traditional tarot. And um, this guy, he's really uh, the born leader uh, because he is able to take action without thinking about it. But he's uh, not, no, yo. He he's thinking about it, but you know some people just act and some people don't. <laughs> so this guy he just acts, and uh, and he's confident that he he knows what to do because he knows he's a good guy. He he has uh, everybody on his mind when he acts, and um, he's really creative and he has all these balls in the air and. Um, he can think of his job at the same time also um, think about his family and uh, his friends or um, uh, the people who work for him. Um, he's a really cool guy. And the cards, I think, you know, this might represent your guy. It says it's time for you to step up and be the leader. And um, it's a good card. It's a card of the sun. When the sun brings joy. This guy is very charismatic and inspiring. And he enjoys a challenge. And he loves being in the spotlight. I know that type of person. I think my cousin is like that. Okay. Next card is the helper of action. I think we have here <laughs> the king, no, the guardian of action uh, in a younger version. And in this younger version, he, version he's viral. He's really like, uh, um, I believe in everything. 
I will do whatever my heart feels and I will I love that woman. I love I love her and I'm gonna get her and there is nothing stopping me. I'm just he's so you know of sort of uptight and but he really knows what he wants and he his will is yeah, extremely large and uh, powerful. So and he's more busy than the the um guardian of action. He's really busy. Let's get going. So get busy. Follow. Follow your instinct. Have fun. Have fun. And make love. Come on, let's make love. <laughs> And he can do everything with a smile. Okay. And the messenger of action. <clears throat> it's uh, this is portrayed by a girl. She's holding a light and uh, she's sort of mm, taking care of the light. <laughs> but she has some new and exciting things coming her way and she feels of eagerness to learn and and uh, to to just know where you're going but she's ready to go and and she feels a little insecure but she knows she has to do it anyway and <laughs> hmm. she just wants to um follow him she wants to take a leap of faith and follow her her man, this handsome young guy who's just, you know, made, made her sort of tremble and who, who just, this guy catches, catches, catched his, her, uh, uh, what do you call it, little cloth, white cloth. He catched it and he picked it up and gave it to her. And she's like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so, and she's a little shy, but she's really, wow, that's powerful. Feeling this love. And um, <clears throat> and what they're feeling stems back to the guardian of action because i think it's true what they're feeling it's true because uh, i see a pair here uh, a pair that can come together and uh and daddy said okay <laughs> okay we'll draw we'll draw this the next three cards here we have go the distance by the book and TikTok. Yeah. Go the distance. I forgot to say that when we have three guardians, no, three cards of um, action, um, it's uh, compared to to have three um, uh cards of wands and uh, this is the king of wands the knight of wands i think and the page of wands and those cards are powerful powerful human beings and powerful transforming uh, relationships right now everything is going fast it's going so fast and yeah it can be a little you know Sometimes things need uh, <laughs> some time to progress and we have to slow down a little bit. And here we see, go the distance. Can you see there is a, um, I want to call it a cheetah. Or is, is it a um, leopard or something hanging in the air? And he's reaching, I'm going to use the sun for light. So you better can see some of the cards. Uh, go the distance. There is a goal flag for, for the, the goal flag here. And he's hanging. You can see he's been running really fast. Really, really fast. But he's running in the desert. And uh, what can a, 
what can a leopard uh, be running towards in a desert? Well, we hope he keeps running for water <laughs> and and something to eat. Maybe there is an an animal animal to eat somewhere. But uh, going the distance, eh, you know, sometimes you just have to go through it. You have to go through it, even though how much strength, how much uh, um, speed uh, it evolves, um, just go the difference. Distance, sorry. <laughs> this, someone came home and I got a little distracted. Just go the distance. Buy the book. Yeah. Here, we in the same desert, we have... Um, three elephants a mother and i think two kids and um, just a minute i'm gonna close the door just open Sorry, that was a dog and a kid's friend. But <laughs> this elephant, she is going by the book. I feel like that this guy has um, a problem with uh, keeping up with the rules. Um, because what is in his heart, what he wants to do, it might not um, co-align with society's rules. Um, and that's why uh, he has to go the distance. He has to really fight for it, I think. And um, <clears throat> this card is number 11 in traditional tarot. Uh, the card is um, uh, strength and um, lust so um, and you have to you know obtain that within your soul and your heart if you if you you need to go um, passing the rules what is going on in his life someone is saying no 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 you have to go by the book. You have to um, um, make sure you, you keep all the rules. You have to make sure you do the right thing. But what is the right thing? Is it the right thing to him or to someone else? Um, and is this the way he wants to live? Does he want to walk around in a desert? Because here again, there is no, there is no water. There is no plants. Um, we these elephants, they're gonna dry right up. You know, <laughs> I think their skin is thick enough to they won't get too sunburned. But they, <laughs> you know, their life uh, to me looks. Um, hmm. You know, it won't it won't be uh, too long before they're gonna need water and they're gonna need something to eat, and they're gonna slowly um, die. <laughs> they're gonna, you know, dry up. And uh, is that a life? Is that a life? You remember in the traditional tarot the. Um, the strength and lust card because I say both of them because some sometimes some call them strength and sometimes it's called lust but it's very usually put, portrayed with a, a lion uh, sitting in sitting in front of the person I'm gonna just show you one card I'm gonna find a traditional then you can see this is just uh, Alistair Crowley's card it came up really fast actually here we go here we have a beautiful naked woman 
and she's holding the holy grail in her arms and she's passing passing it up into the light and in front of her there is a, a lion carrying her and she's not afraid of this lion this lion uh, is her uh, uh, transportation <laughs> so um, so the card number 11 uh, which is the same one it might indicate actually it might indicate a lion um, if your guy is a lion I'm not sure but um, he has to pull up all of his strength and uh, walk out of this desert walk out of this drought he's walking around in and um, look for greener passages look for water the third card says TikTok. Yeah. Well, you know, time is made by human beings. So, you know, we are we have um we have chosen to look back and to look forward. To make and think and talk and speak uh, about the past and the future. Um, but what if time was actually only now? What is what if everything that's going on in our life, uh, even though it's uh, romantic relationships, jobs, if it's just soul work, is it all just connected to the universe? And <laughs> and if we just take a breath and let go then things will come to us um, we don't have to sit and wait we don't have to uh, be anxious about anything um, or anyone or every, everybody's feelings about what we're doing we just maybe we can be a little patient because timing is a universal law as well it's important <laughs> to wait for the right timing so he's waiting for the right timing uh, but he has to you know let go of these other cards here or you know these rules and human beings or something whatever he's around he surrounds him himself with or his exp expectations for himself it can be like that good the last three cards we have here is Knight of Ariel and yes the Knight, Knight of Ariel actually is a really good a beautiful card this knight he wants to act like this guy um, but he he knows that you know nothing good comes with no planning um, so he's sowing the seeds here in the field and uh, the crops are slowly growing and uh, he's okay with waiting um, because he has made a detailed plan And then we have the moon card, number 18, the moon card. And I think, thank God, that the moon came in because um, it seems to me that this guy, still this guy up here, is your love. <laughs> he needs a, a moment to reflect. Uh, he needs a little meditation. It would be good for him to go out full moon evening sit in the grass and watch the moon and close his eyes and breathe have a little conversation with the moon um, because um, the moon can have a talk with him about his shadows and his uh, obstacles the moon will be very good at uh, showing him the way this way through the dark 
so he will uh, feel more confident about what he's uh, going about and what he's doing and the moon will be able to give him a sense of um, connecting to his higher self um, because it's not enough to do whatever we, we think or we feel or just go with our thoughts or our actions or our, our emotions. Sometimes we just really need to listen to spirit. And we all have the spirit inside. So that will be very good for him. But he's already doing it. He's listening to being patient. He's knowing he has to be patient. And he knows um, where to go <laughs> for uh, help and healing. Um, uh, <clears throat> and then we have the five of Gabrielle. And this, uh, <clears throat> well, traditionally it's a card that has a lot of obstacles. Really a lot of obstacles and um, this Knight of Gabriel has to just withdraw for a little time and see, you know, I am going to have to see if I can, if I can, where I can put the brick from my puzzle because um, I'm not really sure uh, because I have a lot of drama and this drama is coming from a lot of other people or my expectations for myself and um, um, I'm not sure how to resolve all this drama um, but this card says you're able to if you have patience with yourself and those around you um, I'm gonna I think I want um, another card for this too um, so I'm going to um, put in the Romance Angels once again. I did that with number one. So I just need a little more answers. How to, what is this guy going to do? What is he going to do? Because here he is on his way, but I don't have any clear answers for you. Um, give me a second. I, I think I'm gonna have three more cards. Sorry, <laughs> I don't have enough room. <laughs> I hope you can see. Pay attention to the red flags. Free yourself. Yeah. And soulmate. Wow. Okay. So, um, this was the card I wanted to know. I wanted to know what is going on between you and him. Because there are some red flags. So, um, and there are some signs that are cautioning you. And you must be feeling this uh, by the book card. The, just as him, the rules. What are all the rules? And can we obey the rules? Or can we get through this? Because for some reason, there's something... I don't know what, it might be uh, religious or cultural differences. It might be uh, a way of living or uh, people in your lives that um, are different or doesn't con contain this relationship. Um, I'm not sure, are you much younger than him or <laughs> is he much younger than you? 
um, something is just um, not really right and uh, um, you're gonna have to uh, pay attention to the red, red flags and um, um, and free yourself this guy he needs to free himself whatever it is that is going on is in his life wants him to free himself right now it's time to take back control of your life it says um, so um, hopefully he will be able to do that I think he will because it's in the it's in the spread and because of the last card is a soulmate card yes this is your soulmate so this guy he is a uh, <laughs> if he's not um, practically perfect for you he is uh, emotionally and and uh, in a soulful way your mate your soulmate so um, and make sure he wants you he wants you and you want him so let me just um, give you an advice as well because uh, this situation also uh, requires you to have something to hold hold on to so um, like in card deck number one I actually uh, had a card for you soulful woman and I'm I think I'm thinking that you can use a little advice from the soulful woman as well um, where did I put the card okay they're in my drawer <laughs> um, let me just shuffle them really fast You got soul's truth. Beautiful. Listen to my soul's simple truth and allow my life to unfold naturally. Wow. She is opening up and she has an eagle in her head. <laughs> the eagle brings truth, you know. <laughs> And she's just closing her eyes and taking it all in, breathing everything into her heart, listening to her soul. I'm so sorry about the light. It's just terrible. Okay. Um, let's see. Number eight. Number eight is a definity number beautiful number and the number of manifestation thank god you have your soul soul's truth <laughs> to make that manifestation i'm going to read for the book from the book my soul is moved by simple truths and authenticity the path of the soul can be different from that of the rational mind and it can take longer to reveal itself yes it will take a little longer to reveal itself. Today, I listen to my soul. I ask myself, what do I really want? What do I really need? Whether I am at the beginning, middle or end of a phase, I embrace this moment for the wisdom it brings. I allow change to occur naturally. I want to see what unfolds, what shows up for me. I give space to the unknown and to myself. Intentions and goals can sometimes be a list of shoulds and must-dos, but soul speaks a different language, one that frees the conventional agendas and ideas. My God, you have a lot of conventional 
agendas and ideas you need to uh, <clears throat> get free from. Therefore, I am willing to take time to simply reflect on and appreciate and appreciate where I am right now, rather than feeling I need to push to create something new. TikTok, stay in the now and let things happen naturally. I listen to my soul's simple truths and allow my life to unfold naturally. That was the uh, that, that was the little thing you could say. I listen to my soul's simple truths and allow my life to unfold naturally. So I wish you luck with your soulmate and with this active guy he's gonna you know he's gonna go for you don't worry <laughs> um but uh give him some time give him some time to uh have a little talk with himself and the people around him and uh, give him some time to make the right plans And find the the last brick of the puzzle. I'm sure you need to do a lot of this of a lot of the same things. So um, stay in your soul's truth. Good luck. Thanks for listening. Beautiful reading. Lovely to hear that those guys still exist. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. This one is the last one. Love and thanks to the crystals. Thank you. See you next time.